On great oaks and great forests, there exists a guardian. Wrapped around the trunks like mossy armor, this man refuses to allow these wooden giants to be killed. The woods are his home, and the canopy of the trees his shelter. He weeps with joy when their leaves return, and he weeps with sorrow when their branches fall. He weeps quite a lot, actually. He is an emotional, tree-loving protector, and his name is Gold Moss. Yeah, man! Welcome to the Frick Cast and to the Dr. Squatch Soap Guides. Today we have the Gold Moss, a brick that promises the riches of the forest. This bar feels like returning to your roots. Tree roots, that is, as this okay oaky soap is about as basic a bar as you get with Squatch. There are actually no unique ingredients in this bar, which is unfortunate. You would hope to see some actual moss or something in it, but there's nothing. The highlighted ingredient is sea salt. However, that's present in most Squatch bars, so it's not really unique. This brick also seems to have overgone an appearance change as well, as its brown, textured look has been replaced with a white, smooth look. Unfortunately, I don't have the old bar to show you a side-by-side -side comparison, but the old style is the one still shown on the website, so you can clearly see the difference. In terms of ingredients, it's still the same, just maybe without the same colorant. And from what I remember of the old version, it's pretty comparable overall to the newer one. And that's about all there is to say here, so let's get into the details on this tree-hugging brick. For a bar that has no unique ingredients, you'd hope for a killer scent to bail it out, such as with the Bay Rum. Yet, this bar has one of the weakest, faintest scents of any OG. It's an earthy yet somewhat sweet scent that reminds you of moss growing on the forest floor or clinging to the bark of an oak tree. Again, I like the scent, but it's almost non-existent. This natural, earthy aroma is what I feel hippies think they smell like. However, thankfully, this bar smells nothing like them. I remember the old version having a thick-ass lather that this one seems to lack now. In any case, this is a silky smooth bar that has no exfoliation and is basically a standard clean for a Squatch brick. Like Oberyn from that awful Wonder Woman movie said, it's good, but it can be better. As for my thoughts, the Gold Moss just really feels like a bare bones brick and there's nothing wrong with that. Some may even prefer it that way. Still, overall I feel I have little choice but to rank it as quite a height. Behind the Bay Rum, which at least has its scent going for it. I just don't think this bar can be justifiably ranked above others with much more character. Remember, quite a height doesn't mean bad, it means quite a height, as in it's a quite a height bar. I feel this bar could really use a revamping. Then again, there's maybe something to be said about having a bar like this. It is a testament to Squatch that even a bar with no added unique ingredients and a faint scent can still be a good bar. Still, this soap has little appeal when compared to the others. There are much better cleaning bricks and bricks with better woodsy, earthy scents. But that being said, I wouldn't blame anyone for liking this bar and its simplistic approach. That's only my opinion though and I'd love to hear yours in the comments. What do you think about this golden boy? Do you agree with me or do you think I'm missing something? Chained to the tree like moss protecting the oak, the brick refuses to allow the basic beauty of nature to be destroyed. The bar may not be flashy or unique, but it stands strong in its principles of being a basic bitch.